Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. God has given us unlimited treasures in his word. Every time we open it, we can discover a new treasure or admire an old one. What will we find today? Let's dig in. Here's Carla Early with Treasure Hunt in the Word. We've all heard Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But the verses preceding that famous evangelistic verse show why verse 23 is so true. And I'm going to read it in the New Living Translation. It says, Obviously, the law applies to those to whom it was given, for its purpose is to keep people from having excuses and to show that the entire world is guilty before God. For no one can even be made right with God by doing what the law commands. The law simply shows us how sinful we are. The purpose of God's word is to give us the standard of God and prove to us that there is no way we can live up to it. It shows us how far from God's standard we are. Galatians 3.10 says, Those who depend on the law to make them right with God are under his curse. For the scriptures say, Cursed is everyone who does not observe and obey all the commands that were written in God's book of the law. The law can't save anyone. It's just like a supernatural mirror that shows all of our flaws how we can't be perfect. One little sin, and we're on the cursed side of the scale. We can't make it right. We can't fix it. The blood of sheep, goats, and bulls can't really do anything for us. Good works don't help us get back on the perfect side of the scale. They might make us feel better, but they don't make our sin go away. As it says here, the law can't save us. It can only show us how sinful we are. And that sin keeps piling up. That's where our but God comes in. Verse 21 and 22 says, But now God has shown us a way to be made right with him without keeping the requirements of the law, as was promised in the writings of Moses and the prophets long ago. We are made right with God by placing our faith in Jesus Christ. And this is true for everyone who believes, no matter who we are. God has made a way, the only way, that we can be made right with him. He knows his standards are impossible, but all along he planned to send Jesus to make the way to him through faith. It's always been through faith. Even Abraham believed and it was counted to him for righteousness. It also says in the Old Testament The just shall live by faith. We just have to get to the point where we know we are not and can never be good enough and trust the way that God has laid out for us to be able to come to him. As Galatians 3.22 says, the scriptures declare that we are all prisoners of sin. So we receive God's promise of freedom only by believing in Jesus Christ. Before Christianity had a name, it was generally called the way. How appropriate. As you go through your day today, thank our but God for making a way for us and for showing us that way so clearly in his word. And pray for someone you can share the way with today. You can contact us at treasurehuntintheword at gmail.com. We'd love to hear the treasures God has given you through his word. You can listen to other episodes at our website, which you can find in the description below. Thanks for listening, and remember, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also.